Well, hey guys, I wanted to welcome you to this week's episode. Uh, before I get started, some of you know I did have some coins on auction. I want to offer uh, coins to all my viewers. So if you're interested in having one, e email me, uh, hordcat1 at yahoo.com, and uh, let me know what you're looking for, and I'll price them out for you and send it to you. Now, to this week's episode, I love to hunt with other YouTubers. Uh, it's fun for me to get together. I've built friendships through the YouTube platform that uh, has made it fun and uh, made a lot, a lot of new friends. And so getting together with them and hunting is one of the things I really like to do. This week, I got to head north and uh, deep digger duo, that's Don, headed south. And so we met in between. Uh, he brought his friend Tim with him as well. And we had a fantastic hunt. Bucket listers for me. Just incredible. Uh, anyway, on to the hunt. Alright guys, I want you to check out. This is the one and only Deep Digger Duo, Dawn. He's one half of the Deep Digger Duo. Uh, we got Tim with us. He's way out there too. Got us permission at this uh, house that was built in 1863. And I just bucket listed. Did you really? Relic wise. Awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty tickled. So I'm going to go take a look at it. It's a beautiful house. Beautiful house, and uh, built in 1863. It was fairly deep. Honestly, thought it was a, thought it was any. I just, I just found a skeleton key. No way. First, that's my first one. First one ever. <laughs> so I was, I was showing it to the guys. Excellent. Still in the hole. So. There was a building over there. Was there? It was a summer kitchen out that way. Oh, cool. So it's still in the hole. I haven't pulled it out. I found a little one before, but I've never found a big one. And this one is a nice big one. And I am so excited about it, guys. Check it out. In the hole. I wanted to find one like that. I've been with Mike when he's found two of them. But check it out. Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful. A little bit bent. It's a skeleton key for an old door. I think it probably do for our house. Think it fit? We'll try yeah, it. Yeah, okay? that literally will probably fit the door to our house. That is awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy. Wait, why would they bury it? Tim. <laughs> they but, just lost it and over the years it just went on the ground. I think that's so. the key to our house. Isn't it cool. He's got the key to our house. <laughs> <laughs> do I look hot because it is hot? Man. Not far from where I dug that uh I think it was just right over there, that skeleton key came over here and had a similar signal and just got down to it and it's a button. I don't know anything about it yet, except that it's old. It was deep. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? What is it? Is it a block eye or a script eye? Oh, I'm going to have to clean this up before I go to shaking. Okay, guys, there goes Tim, disgusted at me. Here's Don, disgusted at me. Oh, look at this. Hey. Are you disgusted at me, Don? Well, no. I'm you. <laughs> guys, you guys probably already figured it out. It's a Confederate script I button. I waited a while to get rid of the shakes, but this is my first Confederate button, and it is in pristine shape. It was nine inches in this house yard built 1863 so we're gonna slow down and hit it hard Tim just brought me over something I apparently thought I was hungry check it out guys a little baby spoon now this thing is sweet check it out it's got silver plate on the back it is gonna clean up oh it's got a design on the back too Tim uh -huh. decorative I like that it's probably got a makers too that is cool that is plated right yeah it's plated that's a good find man congrats Thank you, sir. Okay, so yeah, I found a skeleton key. I'm really happy with that one. I found a little one before, but never a big one, so I bucket listed there. Okay, yeah, I found a script I, so that was a bucket lister. But Tim here brings over an ultimate bucket lister. Check out the size of that Tootsie toy. Oh my, that thing is awesome. I wonder what kind it is. Bel Air, that's my guess. That is incredible. You got seating for four. 
Yeah, you don't like the toy cars. Good. You're not as excited as I would be with that. <laughs> That's a great find, Tim. Congrats. Yes, thanks. Thank you. I had a good signal here, and I just told Tim that I was calling my shot. I finally got down to it. It is a penny. I told him Indian. But it's looking zinkish. It really is going to be a wheat penny. Wow, that was a deep wheat. But then again, everything's deep here, so... Anyway, it's probably one of them 09 SVDBs, you know, that I find all the time. Ha <laughs> ha. You guys see a date on it? Probably an early one, I would guess, but... Anyway, I'm happy with the weed. Let's see if we get something else. I'm going to do this as a live expose just because I'm goofy and I like nickels. It's probably modern. Just got to it. It wasn't as deep as everything else has been. That's why I'm thinking it's modern. But I thought we would... What is it? Oh, it's a buffalo. Isn't it? Yeah. Awesome. Buffalo nickel here in this yard. The house was built in 1863. I'd like to find me a shield nickel. How about that? Is that asking too much? Yes, it is, probably. I am happy with that. You know I like my nickels. Woohoo! Yeah, but I, right. can see, I can see the one cent if you uh, look real, real hard. Tim busted an Indian on the old side there. One cent. Boy, it the is. The front is just wasted. Wow. Been up too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you see this. You start to see the headdress there. Start to see it, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I see the headdress yeah. now. Yeah. There he's coming through. Nice job. We'll hopefully yeah. get a date off of it and I'll put it on here for you. All right. Thanks Congrats, sir. buddy. Thanks. All right. Tim is hitting this side slope. Why, Tim? Because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> he's busted an Indian and now check it out. Got himself a Merc. It is a... Oh, I can't see the date. Oh, it's got some good toning on it. Have you? Been, can you see the date on it? I was going to yeah, find, find out just now. I don't want to rub the toning off. Yeah, though. don't rub the toning off. I'll have to get some water yeah. on it. Anyway, that's a nice one, man. Good job. Thank you, sir. How deep was it? Look. Look, yeah. who, just, look who just decided to battle the side was on. Good job, man. <laughs> All right, Don's here, and I did clean up on him, and look what he left me. Oh, uh, you can have that. Pocket knife. You're taking a break. I'm going to get some water, too. You killed it today. I've done good. I've you done did real good. good. You guys have done better coin-wise, but... There you go. Thank you, sir. Got Thank you. the last five minutes, Keep anyway. me going. <laughs> We're going to press on. There's you a good look at that unit. We're hunting right there. Yes, sir. 1863 all day. All right. Tim was joining us here in this yard. Knocked this permission over here. And uh, hadn't found much but clad yet. He ran over to the park real quick. Came back with a little silver eye. And it's a one-dimer, but he already knows what it is. It's a 1890-something. Can't really see it. 1895, maybe? Is that staining on it, or what is that? I don't know. Like a tarry substance? How deep was it? Uh, about six. Six inches? Good find, man. Thank you, sir. What did it ring up on the E-Track? It was ringing like an Indian at first until I popped the plug, and then when I got the pinpointer in there and started ringing silver. You might have an Indian in your plug. Yes. You better go check it. So, good job, this. man. Congrats. Thank you. Alright. Digger Don here with the call. We just got rained on profusely. But it felt good. But it felt good. It went from, i tell you what, it went from 93 degrees to about 76 in a matter of no time. And uh, said he's got silver showing. Yes, I do. It's in there. It's right there. It's it. Oh, I haven't looked yeah. at it yet, but well, it's... Well, that's a deep one. Six inches? Yeah, probably about. Don't be a rosy. Yeah, guess Don't what? Don't be a rosy. It is a... No, it's a Merc. No, it's a rosy. Oh, another man. Another rosy. 1960. <laughs> what is it? 60. 60? You know, I don't... Well, I'm not going to say I don't like digging roses. I love digging roses. But, man, I sure would like to find some, some old stuff. But it's not here yeah. today, so I'm happy to have this. Yeah, this house was built in 1916, folks. Look at that. It was built by a doctor. Got permission to hunt it. It's a huge property. We're not going to be able to finish it all, but beautiful property. And uh, so... There's some stuff here. That's your second rosy. We didn't get the first one on camera, but... Yeah, the first it? one was actually kind of in the same area yeah, just a little while earlier. Yeah, it wasn't very far from here, I think. Let's see... 
it's got a twin. Yeah, rose right there. I'm gonna see if I can't find a triplet somewhere. There you I'd go. be happy with a rosy today. I hadn't found squat hardly. We'll press on though. <laughs> well, we left the other town that we were in and uh, came to a new town. A little bit closer for me to get home. I've got a ways to go tonight still yet. And uh, the other guys got on one and called me and I said, well, I got on one too. And my first hole is a silver coin. I kid you not. I just popped it. Don't know what it is yet. It's a Roosevelt. But at least it's a silver coin. And I had not had one up until this point. So I'm excited with that on a 1245 signal. And we'll see if we can get some more. Okay, you guys know that one of my favorite signals is 1229-1230, which usually is a token, and I just got down to it. I don't know what kind of token it is. Popped it out and have not looked at it yet, which I apologize because it is corroded pretty good. Anyway, let me try to clean it up. I think I see something coming through. I'll try to pick it real quick and show you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I kid you not, I'm not even in Missouri right now. One mil Missouri sales tax token. Oh well, what are you gonna do? We'll keep going. Alrighty, Don and Tim finally made it. Their 1850s house didn't pan out, right? What was the deal on that, Don? Oh, it's still a lot of construction and stuff just all, everywhere over there. Even I'm talking on top of the ground. Oh yeah. Oh, check it out. There it is. You done ingified. Oh, it's got a date on it too. Can I pick it up? Absolutely. You just bought it, 50 bucks. No. It'll cost you money. Yeah, well, you know. Oh, I can't really tell. Here, let me rub, let me rub, it, rub it on the back of my glove. Oh, okay, I got my pants. Okay. Not real. It's... It's going to be clear, I think. Yeah, at the 19 something, I got it. It wasn't super deep, five to six inches. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, so yeah. Five inch, five, five inches. There's a bunch of gravel there. Probably would have been deeper if it wasn't for the gravel. It looks like it might be a... What's the last year for Indians? 09. This looks like a 1910. <laughs> it can't be obvious. You better give that to me. Give, it, give it to a guy with good eyes. Yeah, obviously it's a... Yeah, I spent a lot of money to get two, two new eyes a while back. Doesn't it look like a 1910? <laughs> well, you see it's not. Um... Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> it's got to be an 1890. Well, anyway, we'll clean it up real quick and check it. All right, guys, as you can see, it's a 1900 straight up, so our 1910 theory rare coin is busted. Yeah, well. That's all right. You'll get rich someday. I heard they made one that year. Check out what Tim just pulled. Nice crotal well. It's beautiful green. That thing is awesome. We'll clean it out and see if it's got its dingamajigger in there. That is an awesome find. I found, a, I found my first little bitty one a couple weeks ago. Did you? Yeah. yeah so. They're fun to find. That is so cool. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? Woohoo! <laughs> well, I just gave Don the sign. I just dug a wheat penny right here, and it was a 1920 something. Swang over, actually, I had my coil sitting there as I stood up and uh, had a silver signal. I just got it exposed out of here. It wasn't very deep. I'm expecting it to be a rosy, and it is. No, it's a Merc. There you go. Awesome. Don't know where the here let me get a little juice off of my arm. Called oh, perspiration. Ooh, this stuff sticks to it. It's a 41 it looks like. You see that? Yes, I do. Good job, Jeff. 1941 Mercury. Excellent job. Excellent. All I'm right. excited about that. So that's number two. All right, we'll guys, keep we'll going. See you next. Well, I can't share this with Don because he went to the bathroom. I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is an Indian. I just pulled it from deep. It rang like an Indian. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can see the reefer. Oh, look at that. Oops, I got it upside down. But that is a nice Indian. Let's see if we can get a date on it right here on camera. There's a lot of glare on my lens, so I can't really see very good, but can probably see it maybe I could just pick it real quick and we'd have it all done but that's a 19 oh something probably a 1904 is what it's looking like so anyway I'm happy to get an Indian been a long time coming this weekend we'll see if we get another 
Okay, yes, this is the same hole I got the Indian out of. I closed it back up. Got another signal, pulled it out. It was an early wheat, a teen of some sort. Apologize for the wind right now. Picked up. Had to go back in, and I just pulled another coin out. And this one is an Indian as well. Oh, and that's uh, 1898. 1898, so a two, two Indian, one wheat spill right there. And uh, I'll check it and make sure there's not more, but happy with that. Okay, guys, that monstrosity that I dug out of here, all those wheats, and had a signal right here, and Dawn was standing with me. And I popped out a thin silver. And I just told him, I said, I found barbers at 1241, and that's what this one is. I can already tell, and it's a smooth one. You called that one, Jeff. 19... Oh, uh, what is it? 1910. Ooh, I need that one. I need that one. I've never dug that one. No! Not anymore, you don't. <laughs> awesome. No mint mark. I am excited with that. 1910. All right, guys. I had to reopen the hole again and check it out. This one's a 1912. He had a brother in there. And they looked like they were carried just about the same amount of time. So, that is really cool. That is a, quite the spill. Well, we'll see if what else is out here. I am pretty tuckered out, and I still have a long drive to go. Don and Tim went on, and they got on another house, so I'm going to head over there and say goodbye to them when I get done. But I thought I was digging a wheat penny, and check it out. Dug a great seal button. Shank's been over on the back, but it'll have a back mark, and we'll be able to age it. World War One or World War Two. I'm leaning towards one. But anyway, let's we'll see if we can get something else. Almost done. Only have about, I don't know, eight more foot a yard to do, so... It's been a good one.